can you imagine? Uh, now, for you non-Chinese viewers, can you imagine staying in a, a dorm in Wuhan where it's cold and hot with five roommates, three bunk beds, and no AC? Oh my God, I've, I've only got less than two weeks here in Wuhan, in China. So we got to get to as much Chinese food as we can. Today we're going to try a hot pot place. Let me, um, let me show you the pot. Can you explain the pot? It's, it's not hot yet. Well, it's a, it's a three combination hot pot. Three combination. Yep. Yeah. Number one is the um, famous traditional Sichuan spicy pot. Famous traditional Sichuan pot. Mm -hmm. And this one, I think, is a very popular, not spicy, uh, mushroom soup. Ah, mushroom soup. Like like Campbell's or Lipton's mushroom soup in America. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one I think is just the bones. The the big bones from the from the pig or maybe from the cow. So just a no. a bone soup. Yeah. Uh, I won't do uh, much talking as the food comes out. We got to wait for the pot to get hot. Hot pot. Yeah, you should also get your uh, the dip. Oh yeah. So we got to go take a walk to the dip. Yeah. All right. And the rest of the food will come out. So um, yeah. This is where the money is. The sesame, the maja. And we got mushroom soup. Do you like this place? New place? I would come back here with my friends. What do you like about it? Well, it's clean. The food, I mean, the materials are very fresh. And uh, the hot pot is not so spicy. And uh, the IPA beer is very light. Okay, so to recap, it's clean. The uh, spicy part of the hot pot is not too spicy. And the IPA is very light. Got it. That reminds me of a, a book I read by a um, Chinese who was living in London. This was about, it was like 20 years ago. And uh, she said, you know, it was kind of a memoir of her growing up in Beijing. And uh, well, actually, she was from a small town, but then she grew up. She was uh, like a 19-year-old in in Beijing, 
and she said she used to hang out at the McDonald's, which you probably know McDonald's was um, kind of new 20 years ago. Anyway, she said uh, she went to the McDonald's for three reasons. McDonald's was kind of new 30 years ago. Okay, it wasn't new 20 years ago. But she said she went to the McDonald's in Beijing for three reasons. Number one, because it had air conditioning. Number two, you could sit there all day and nobody would bother you. And number three, the toilets were clean. 30 years ago. But maybe she was right. I was not 20 years ago. For me, I think McDonald's was very new 30 years ago. Okay, maybe she, yeah. I read the book in about, uh, I don't know, 2002. So maybe she wrote it maybe five years after she left Beijing. Maybe 20 years ago? No. 30 years ago. Just to be clear, you, uh, you're a little insulted that we don't have clean bathrooms in Beijing 20 years ago. Or, uh, That's right. Uh, you think that China has clean bathrooms for how many years? I don't know, but when I was 17, yes, we do have. We did have, I am sure. Only in McDonald's, right? Thank you. She hates me so much. <laughs> When you were a kid, you know, like um, 20, 30 years ago, did you have AC? Thirty years ago, I, I was seven. Maybe no, but twenty years ago, yes. I had AC. Only twenty years ago. But you had no AC in your dorm room, right? You were like one of six people in your dorm at Wuhan University? When I was 17, that's right, I didn't have. This is where the spoiled American comes in. I mean, seriously. <coughs> I, if I had to go to a dorm room with uh, five roommates, three bunk bed, beds, no AC and no heat, I think I would just spend my whole life working in a clothing store. <laughs> Maybe Walmart. Fast forward to today. You know, we're sitting here in a restaurant ordering off a screen. We have a digital currency. We have AC and heat at home. You will be fine. Do you have AC? No, but we were fine. Oh. Mm. I had a little fan. And, and when it was cold? In the winter? I have blankets. I hit you. I really... I... You know, they, they're paying like um, $60 a year for, two, for um, the dorm. You know, so they're not paying any money in a public university in China, but still, to be in a, can you imagine, uh, now for you non-Chinese viewers, can you imagine staying in a, a dorm in Wuhan where it's cold and hot with five roommates, three bunk beds, and no AC? It's like, um, you can't go backwards. If I was in America and I had AC and heat, and then I came to China and had no AC and no heat, that would be a problem. But if I, if I never had AC and heat, it would be no problem. That's what I think. Anyway, um, I think this is a good time to end the video.
showing my um, American weakness. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for the lack of comfort. Uh, it's not true. When I was here 20 years ago in China, I, I really lived with, um, I, don't want, I don't want to say this the wrong way, with less amenities, less comfort than I did back in America, but it was good. It was no problem. It really was no problem. Anyway, before I get myself in too much trouble, I am going to end this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Please press the like button. I know you like this video. Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Take care. See you later. Bye.